Hello, and thank you for taking a moment to watch this training. And on this specific training, I wanna to talk to you about uh, one of the configuration options within the system that allows you to choose which phone number you call first when you start to call a contact or a lead. Let me show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and open up Carol White here. If I open up that record, and let's go to the details, you'll see that Carol has two phone numbers, a phone number in the phone field and a phone number in the mobile field. And let's say, for example, I know when I'm calling my contacts, when I'm calling a list of contacts, I know that I want to call the mobile phone number first, if there is one, and then any additional phone numbers after that, if I don't connect with them. Phone Burner makes it really easy for you to set the primary phone number that we call for either the leads or contacts objects. Let me show you how you can do that. I'm gonna bring over the Phone Burner account. So this has to be done within your Phone Burner account. So I'm logged into Phone Burner here. I'm gonna to go to the menu in the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna go down to integration settings. On the integration settings, I'm gonna to go to the Salesforce details. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down all the way down to the bottom and you'll see this section here that says primary phone contact and primary phone lead. Now, since we're working from the contact object in this specific example, this is the one I would adjust. So here, if I click on the drop down menu, it's gonna give me a list of the default phone numbers that are available within Salesforce. We've got phone, home phone, other phone, assistant phone, and mobile phone. So if I wanted to adjust my contact object when I do a dial session from the contact object to start calling the mobile phone first, if they have one, I would select that and save. That's it. That's how easy that is. Now, when I go to start a dial session from within the contact object, if the contact record has a mobile phone, we'll call that first and any other numbers would be called after that. I could do the same thing for the lead object. If I knew that, hey, if I've got a mobile phone, I wanna call that first, I can go ahead and save that. And then we'll scroll down again. You'll see it saved and updated. Now jumping back over to Salesforce, based off that change, if I were to start calling Carol White, we would try calling Carol at this phone number first and then based off of call outcome and some configuration that we'll talk about in the future, we would either move on to the next record or we would call the other phone numbers associated with this record. And so that's it. That's how easy it is for you to configure the primary number that is called when you're starting a dial session from either the contacts or leads object. And of course, there's still lots of things for us to consider with this integration with Salesforce. So make sure you continue going through the training. But that's it for this training. Thanks again and happy dialing.